Your first step is to open up MongoDB Compass. When you open the app, you will see add new connection. Click that. Over here, you have this URL. And as a name, you can put whatever you want. For example, I will put cycle frontier test. You can even choose the color if you like. Let's put iris. Over here, you have four categories. To modify your inventory and other things such as currency, you have to go to prospect DB, lay fab user data, and over here you will have everything that you need. Let's do a really easy example. Let's say that you want to change your faction progress with Karlov. So first of all, you have to find the box that you're looking for. So in this case, the first one, faction progress Karlov. Once you found it, you will see a pen over here with that says add the document. You press add the document and you go to the value. So to make things easy, you can press control A and we'll select everything over here. And then you can write your number. If you write 450,000, you will have a max out. So it will be like this for you, like this. And to change it again, just add a document, value, control A, or five zero 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 zero. And now you will have Karolev maxed out. To actually though, update the data to your game, you have to press this little pen well, that says update. You press update and then update 37 documents. And now it's updated. You can press refresh over here. And to actually have the changes applied, you will have to restart your game. Let's do the same thing for your balance. So you will have to scroll down and over here, you will see balance. If you do not find it, I recommend putting this over here, as you can see where my cursor is at 100 basically this will make you see all of these because for example if i put a 25 and I scroll down that i won't be able to see it and i have to press this arrow to change page if you do not want to change page and have everything in one place just go over here and press 100 so with that done let's go back to the balance as you can see in the value we have in o and sc so N stands for insurance tokens, O for arms, and SC for K marks. So for example, let's say that we want 100,000 arm and 1 million K marks. And let's say, I don't know, 100 <laughs> insurance tokens. You can press then update, update over here. Update 37 documents and refresh. And of course, as always, you have to restart your game. So as you can see, as soon as you load into the game, you will have this. This is your default loadout when you just join the game. So now we're going to change it. In this case, we want to add a core. So how do you do that? So first of all, we have to go to the inventory section, which is exactly two blocks up of balance that we last modified. Over here, same thing, press the pen for added document. And over here at the value, press Ctrl A, then Ctrl C to copy it. And from there, you will have to make two new notepads, or at least write it in two different places. You can use whatever app you want. Firstly, I will use notepad. When you do Ctrl A and Ctrl C from your inventory and you paste it somewhere, you should have something like this. So you have to paste it on both sides. Once you copy and paste it in your new two notepads, you have to save one of them and it's called inventory backup. So this one, you will just need it in case something goes wrong. Because if a value that you changed has some issues, well, the game will not work. So be careful. <laughs> Once you copy this into the other text file that you will be using to edit your inventory, over here, as you can see, we have two parentheses. You have to select your mouse in between the two parentheses over here. Now you have to select everything until you see a new item ID over here. As you can see, we have new item ID. So you have to select everything, including the comma over here. You can press Ctrl C and then where we were before, 
place your cursor in between the two graphs and press Control V. Now, what you just did is copy one of the item IDs. How do we change it? First of all, over here, you have your item ID. You have to change one letter from your item ID. For example, instead of B-O-E, we have C-O-E. And over here, for base item ID, your default will be WP E S N G bullet 01. Let's say that we want a core. All you do is you copy paste instead of W P E S N G bullet 01, you paste in W P A A R bullet 01. As always, I will leave in the description or in the comments all of the weapons and all of the other things such as attachments and armor and bags so you can have everything keep in mind there will be question marks in the comment you do not have to copy those and also you don't have to copy the name so for example the one that i copied is question mark wp aar bullet 01 core the only thing they will have to copy paste is wp aar bullet 01 now that you added your core to the text file all you do is Control a on the new text file, of course, not the inventory backup. Control C, then you go back to your MongoDB compass, go to inventory, the little pen for edit document, value, Control A, backspace, Control V, update, then above, update, update 37 documents, refresh. Now you can launch the Cycle Frontier and let's see if it worked. Okay, so we are now in the game and as you can see, our values changed. As you can see, we have 1 million K marks and 100,000 Aurum, we have 100, sorry, 100 insurance tokens. But for the big result, the inventory. So as you can see, we have the core at the tour inventory now. You can add as many weapons as you want. You just have to repeat the same progress. I hope that this video helped you to understand how to add things to your inventory. If you have any questions, just comment below and I'll try my best to answer them. As always, have a wonderful day and you will find all the things for the weapons, the armor and the bags in the description. And if the description is glitched, you will see them in the comments. Stay safe, have a wonderful day and have fun playing the cycle.